everyone. Welcome to Raise with Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot, and welcome Gemini. How are you? Um, if you return, thank you so much for returning and helping me build my channel. And those of you who have just arrived on new, so again, thank you so much for being here. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Yes, help me build my channel. It would be awesome. <laughs> so anyway, we're doing a love reading today for you, Gemini. Uh, we've done for those of you who are new, we do love readings every week, angel readings, and we also do um, different topics. We just did one on the animal totem. So uh, there's a link there on meditations with the animal spirits. It's really cool. Anyway, so we are going to do your um, love reading right now and find out what's going on energetically. And know that, you know, you're still in Taurus, right? The sun is still there. We have Venus still there. And um, Aries... Uh, I think Mercury is going to be moving into Aries with this, in, this evening, but know that there's some more harmony this this coming week. There'll be some more harmony, and and usually anything that might have even surprises might be coming as well. I feel that for you, Gemini, some surprises and some talks that need to be talked. Um, anything about relationship and money might be coming up for you. So let's see here what is going on uh, on an energetic level for Gemini. So, oh, <laughs> you are definitely in a very, very, um, this is calming, peace, someone who's meditating, someone who's deeply, deeply in need of rest, um, who's just set, setting themselves and just chilling. Ah, and then we have someone who is questioning, questioning, looking for answers, yes, awaiting some type of information. Are you worthy of this information, Gemini? Right now, it seems like you're doing a lot of contemplation and meditating on something that you're waiting for answers. You're something, thirst for knowledge of something that you need to, uh, you've been inquiring about. And it is about money <laughs> or taking a chance, all right? This, see this, um, this, image here um, she's taking a chance she's gambling on life you know um, or she's making money as well she's definitely you know uh, taking a step towards increasing her her stability but she's also taking a chance so there's something here that you need to know information about more information about waiting so that you want to take this chance you want to gamble on something and, and maybe it will bring you money uh, maybe it will bring more financial stability so let's see in your love reading here how that comes to be all right so let's see gemini let's see what's going on here so what we're going to do is we're going to start with um the phases of love find out exactly which well not exactly because you know energy changes constantly right we're always thinking differently our thoughts our feelings our actions our expressions change everything out there in the ether so know that whatever um you are doing if you are consistent in what you're doing you'll know what's, what the return will be right if we've been in alignment if we in love and, and our intent is there for all uh, for love and goodness well then you know that's what's going to return to you but if it starts to get mixed up you know every moment be surprised be surprised so let's see in the faces of love here what's going on for Gemini so we have Oh boy, let's see. What does this say? Abstinence. Having a dry spell or sex drought can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. Take this time for loving yourself. So this is uh, maybe a time out card here, which it seems is what you're doing. You're taking time out. It's about you. I want to see where I am. I want to see how I feel about things. Am I doing the right thing for myself? Is there something better? Can I... Is there something that I want to do that I need an opportunity to take a chance with? Uh, do I need more finances? Um, what is going on here? It seems to be a halt in, in a love situation, in your connection or situation or relationship that might um, have just kind of mm, dissipated a little. I don't think it's gone. No, I don't think it's gone. I think a lot of, of situations and relationships and connections are always changing and um, because we're always growing right so you have to always be prepared for that those moments where things change because people wake up they wake up we all wake up to something that we've never you know noticed we become more aware you know so let's see here in the scarlet um oracle it, it brings us a little deeper message i don't know why i can't see today my contacts are foggy <laughs> A 
obsession. Okay, let me show you this picture. So it says here, I'm obsessed with you and our memories. It's almost killing me. So there's a dry spell here. Someone has disappeared. Someone has definitely disappeared and is, you're not sure whether it's over or not. I don't know, I'm not sure that it's over. It looks like they might've just stepped away, uh, Gemini, for a little bit of time. You're definitely thinking about them, meditating on it. Um, you really wanna know, you're waiting for information to come to you. Maybe you've reached out to them, maybe you've been texting them, um, even leaving messages at work. And you're taking a chance here. Um, and perhaps you're, you're wanting an opportunity to gamble your, your emotions, perhaps, um, you know, you're taking a chance in, in, in hoping, I believe. You're taking a chance in hoping that this situation will resolve itself or connection or relationship. Let's see what the uh, Twin Flame Journey cards will say here and what is going on in the present future and also perhaps some type of outcome. Many outside ancestral energies that could possibly help you. I know the moon is here. You know, the moon is definitely going to be lightening up people's awareness. Um, Aries, the moon, and, and Mercury are all kind of creating some type of situation by this evening. But know that information will be coming. Before this week is over, you will know your answer, Gemini. You will definitely know your answer. So let's put out five cards here. And let's see what's going on for Gemini. All right, so, okay, so yeah, we have the Four of Swords here. We have, it's, it's about, you know, recovering, it's about healing. Um, know that the Four of Swords is sometime, at a time where we are meditating, which is what you're doing and letting all this filter through us, any situation that you've been through. And usually the Four of Swords is, is a very, very, a place to contemplate, you know, to bring all that you've experienced and make some, you know, alignment out of it or some sense out of it, letting go, or even down deep into your ancestral energies of what might have been from the past emotions that um, could have created this. But know that every time we, you know, we crash or we break up with someone or we're missing someone or know that these are lessons. These are all lessons to stabilize your own emotions, right? To heal, to clear, to become stronger. And so this is exactly what's going on for you right now. You're in the Four of Swords. You are definitely um, contemplating, letting, resting, rejuvenating, and trying to recover. So, and in your heart, oh my goodness, in your heart you want the Ace of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. You have such a love, Gemini, for this situation, connection, relationship. You are definitely, your heart is a big heart of love here. And um, let's see where this all will take you. Because right now I see you're in a good alignment here. Um, even though you've had this uh, abstinence and, and obsession with this person uh, from the past, um, you are definitely going through a specific uh, path here of healing, definitely of the heart. And um, that's a good place to be. And yeah, and your higher self, you know, is saying there will be new beginnings and more stability as you go through this. This is just a phase that you're going through. Let's see if this person may come back. We don't know. We don't know if this person will come back, but we'll, we'll see here. But it looks like there's going to be new beginnings for you. And maybe whatever you're waiting for is coming back. But let's see here. Yeah, the King of Cups. <laughs> Your King of Cups will be coming back. It's an emotional mastery, you know, um, and also emotional mastery in you, but it looks like this King of Cups um, will be coming back. This is in that position of the ancestral message, uh, which is saying the King of Cups is coming and, and any future information, yeah, the seven of, of, well, this is the chariot. So know that this is a, a new adventure uh, for the future. You're, you're definitely moving out. Um, with this energy and this person will be coming back but un undoubtedly maybe you'll be different okay you'll be different once you go through this this self-healing waiting for this information uh, or, or connection to contact you it looks like there will be some type of contact but I believe I believe this what I'm feeling here Gemini is that you may not want it back you're going, you're charging ahead here. This is the future card. You're charging ahead 
on your on a new adventure and your higher self here is giving you the go ahead a new beginning of stability because your heart is in the right place okay and so this also could be you in your ancestral energy about becoming more emotionally stable and mastering your your love life so again you'll be ready for anything once you get through this period um, let's see what your future self um, is, uh, your future self message is in this reading for Gemini interesting this, this is a second reading that people are also doing the same kind of process um, very interesting all right so here we go let's see yeah you may not want this person to come back you, you may have felt obsessed and dry and abstinence but all of a sudden you're learning something and um, let's see what your future self oracle says for Gemini Give yourself some credit for how far you've come. So, how far you've come and how far you'll go is what I see here. I have a feeling that this person that is has dried your has, has disappeared or dissipated. Um, you may not want them back. That's what I feel. But I think you'd like to have a talk. You know, some type of communication. To you have a lot to say. You have a lot to say. All right, so here we go. Let's see what it is. The Whispers of Love Oracle sends you off. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, and for those of you who have returned, thank you so much. And for those of you um, who are new, I'm new too. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we'll see you again. And subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Your final message, Gemini, for this weekend. Okay, so it says here, relationship patterns, it takes strength to recognize the need for change. This is the first time this card has ever come up in the deck that I've been using this, and I've been using this for months. This never comes up. Relationship patterns, it's time for change. The heavens and angels are saying to you, Gemini, yes, charge ahead. Take care of your inner world and everything will manifest into this beautiful initiation of love that's in your heart. Wonderful. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye now.